another beautiful submission. But I'm sure you have something to, to complain about your performance. Always, I nearly got my back taken, huh? But, uh, nah, uh, I'm, yeah, content with my, uh, my uh, performance. Again, like, he went for a takedown, clinched me, same, similar to the last fight, uh, took me down that way, but, yeah, so we work, definitely work on that. But um, I'm overall, I can't really be too moany about a first round finish again. So <laughs> I get bored of myself morning moaning, so I'm I do it off camera. I'm glad, I'm glad yeah, this has changed. Well. <laughs> but it was, it was absolutely beautiful. Also how you stayed calm in that position. You know, you kept a frame and you were gripping the head in order for, to not allow him to, to uh, progress to the back. What were you thinking dur during this moment? Uh, not much thinking, mainly just feeling. So like, uh, yeah, try to control him from uh, not taking my back, especially try to f uh, get that left, his left leg in as his hook. So I tried to keep my left elbow tight. Uh, yeah, trying to stay composed, but that's all down to the guys at London Shoot again, making me go through the worst throughout camp. So I've been in a lot worse positions, fought my way out of it. So yeah, this is normal to me to be in a bad position. Yeah. yeah. And it was a, very, a crowd, weren't exactly cheering for you no. at the end. I mean, it, it was, sort of the, the hometown fighter. A lot of the fans were there. So how were you feeling about that? Were you happy that in the end they did, they were clapping yeah. towards your efforts? Again, my experience last time was the uh, French crowd was very welcoming. And uh, this time they weren't so much, but again, like you said, they changed their mind. And that's all that I can ask for as a fighter. That's a fair crowd. Like I do, they don't have to cheer for me if they don't support me, but by the end, if they respect the performance, then yeah, that's a, that's a great crowd. Like I love it, I love to fight here, yeah. It was, it was absolutely beautiful how you were able to get the, the back and, and finish him off so quickly as well. Yeah. Did, did you trap an arm? What, what made it so, so difficult for him to, to escape with only four seconds left? I'm not sure you have to ask him, but I just remember that right elbow landed. Like I felt a good connection on that. So maybe he was a bit dazed, but I don't know. Like you, you, you have to uh, check with him, but maybe that's why he wasn't able to defend that much. But I just felt a good connection on that elbow and then immediately sunk in that. Uh, I think the right arm, you've got to check me on that. But uh, yeah, so I think that might have done it a little bit. Yeah. A beautiful performance. I hope to see you again soon. Yes. Is there any time that you're looking to fight again? Uh, as soon as possible, to be fair. Now my priority is for the next month to help with the guys at the gym. We've got a lot of big fights coming up. We've got Paige, we've got Shipman, we've got Arunas, we got Alfie. So at Bellator, they're all looking great. So I'm going to see my family. I haven't seen them in a while for a couple of days and go back out to England and then uh, get ready to help the team like they helped me, sorry. It was great, it was great to see you fight and I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much to all the fans and especially my coaches and my teammates at London Shoe Fires and everyone else who helped me, uh, my family. Probably forgot uh, someone, but yeah, thank you. And to Aries, of, of course.